Okay, I'm just going to talk to you from here. I'm not going to show myself because I just woke up and I look like craziness. <laughs> okay, so this toy room. Oh my gosh, it's like so crazy. I still have way too many toys. I seriously have given away so many toys. This bookshelf right here. I replaced that bookshelf up in Dee's room with the big tall ones and so we don't need these little ones anymore. I thought I might use them out here but they're just getting in the way because I have all these other ones. See this green one? And um, we put a desk up in Boo's room so she's not using this shelf now because there's no room for it. So there's this shelf and then there's these two big shelves which I hate. <laughs> And then there's like a little bookshelf over here. You get the point. There's shelves everywhere. That's a kitchen and then this is a train table. What I like to do is this thing right here I just built. I haven't picked it up yet or anything. But it's a cabinet and it's got four. Oh, let me see. It's got four shelves like this. And so I bought one for each of my kids. Because they were on sale. Ten bucks off a pop. So I thought that's the best you could probably get it. So I bought three of those closets. And what I like to do is all this mess right here. And granted, yes, they do need to do a better job about picking up after themselves. But each kid is going to have one cabinet uh, for themselves. So all their toys are going to fit in there. Whatever doesn't fit in there has to go. So each kid has that amount of space. Because look at how much space that is. That is a decent amount of space for any kid to have all their toys in there. The train table will probably stay and the kitchen might stay. But other than those two big things, Coming. yeah, I hear the garbage truck. Coming. Let's you want to see it again? Yeah. All right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Bye. Bye, garbage truck. Bye, garbage truck. Yep. I'm getting all the trash. Okay, anyways, that is my plan so that I'll just have three cabinets and it'll be nice and neat but it'll be put away so it won't be visually as like crazy either and then whatever they want most will have to go in the cabinet and then whatever they don't want they'll just have to prioritize because they cannot keep everything seriously oh my goodness ridiculous especially when your house is small and you don't have a dedicated toy room I just I've got to nip this in the bud we have anchored the cabinet to the wall so it does not topple over on my children. <laughs> this makes it much safer, especially because when these cabinet doors are open, it might be a little top heavy. Let's see you open your cabinet. Whose cabinet is that? Mine. Yeah, are all your things in there? Yep. You gotta keep them nice and tidy, okay? Right. <laughs> Can I play with this part? Yeah, but where do you put it when you're done? In the cabinet. Yep, <laughs> you sure do. So all my kids' toys are in here, in these three cabinets, and then a little bit on the top. Right here, though, where that um, spackling is, those are studs, and that's cool because now I know where they are, so I can easily put up a shelf right there and then have a, a big space up there to put whatever I want. So that's kind of exciting to me. But, um, yeah... I'm, I'm still working like you can see like there's so much floor space now to play on um, I'm still working on getting stuff out of my house I'm pretty sure these big shelves you've seen these big shelves that used to be in my garage most everything on these shelves and the shelves themselves are probably going I might keep one depending where this dollhouse bookcase is going yeah everything on here is going it's pretty organized. I'm excited about the new toy system. That's what I wanted to say today. And hope you're having a good day. We'll talk to you later. See you next time on the Green Apple Home. Mm -hmm.